it's got its highs and its lows. I think it gives um, a lot more power to the artists or celebrities that are trying to get themselves out there. And it's not filtered, it's you speaking direct, putting a message out there. By and large, people yeah. seem to really love it when you are coming across and connecting with them. Because yeah. with the sex tech, I've watched your YouTube video where you give your own message. Yeah. I thought it was incredibly brave. I'm sure everyone at home has had intimate moments with someone and never expected for one second that they would, at any point, go and share it with the rest of the world. As soon as I explained, women were a lot more supportive about the situation because it could happen to anyone. I mean, I was told just to um, disappear for a bit, not comment on it and pretend okay. like it never happened. But I don't think I could even step out in public again until I did that video to say my bit. Um, so I turned off my phone, did the video, uploaded it, and then waited 24 hours to turn my phone back on again. And then um, had my team going, brilliant, brilliant idea, Talisa. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> well done. <laughs> No, I, th I honestly thought it was, it was, you per pitched it perfectly. And maybe social media has actually helped you sort out, I mean, these pretty extraordinary situations yeah. you wouldn't normally be in. And then you have, like, the downfalls as well, though, that when you sort of put yourself out there, people kind of feel like they should make judgment. I mean, I've had some ridiculous, like, abusive comments. When I did X Factor, I could be getting up to 500 abusive tweets a day. God. That's negative for anyone. You just sort of chuck a little comment out yeah, way on what they see and then, yeah. Just, just for fun. They, they just move on with their day. Yeah, and then, you know, you can have some poor celebrities somewhere crying their eyes like having a nervous breakdown over a tweet.